Hello everyone, I'm here today with a Goose Creek candle and wax melt haul. Now I've been telling myself that I will not buy any more Bath & Body Works candles or products till their autumn merchandise came, comes in, which will be maybe late July, August, it seems to get earlier every year. But I said I could buy some more candles from Goose Creek, sort of their spring-summer line, because there's some I've been eyeing. And uh, after that, I'm hoping to have enough willpower not to purchase any more Goose Creek candles or wax melts till their fall candles come out. So we'll see how we do. Um, I'm doing pretty good with the Bath & Body Works. Uh, so, so many of those are repackages anyhow, and I prefer the autumn winter scents. So that's hopefully easy enough. Um, Goose Creek, I uh, went on there and they had their sale, six candles for $60 US, a little bit more Canadian. I think it works out to be about $13 Canadian. And uh, yeah, there's some scents that I really, really wanted to get. And these are kind of year round scents because there's a lot of tea scents. I love tea scents. So um, they had a few to choose from there. So. Um, I will get started with the candles, which I purchased six of. And I do love the smell of Earl Grey tea. Uh, sometimes I'll just open up the cupboard where I keep my tea and I'll grab um, a package of Earl Grey tea and just open it and sniff it. Uh, it's just, I love that scent. And uh, this is a new one they had out. Now, I'm not that familiar with Goose Creek, uh, so I don't know if it's a new scent or they're just bringing it back, but these are new to me anyhow. And I love the label, and this is London Fog. So they have some gold accents here on the label and then the gold lid. I really wish this was a wraparound candle. I mean, that would just be absolutely gorgeous. So I, I had written down all the scent notes, handwritten, wrote them out and then I realized uh, that yeah they have the notes on the bottom now so this is sparkling bergamot earl grey tea chamomile and black tea so bergamot is the the um, main ingredient in any earl grey tea and of course they have this kind of grayish label now it just came in from the outside it's a bit cold and rainy out there so it's not as strong as I thought it would be. I can make out the Earl Grey tea scent though, and the bergamot, definitely it's it's in there. But it's not as strong as I thought it would be, so I'm hoping um, this will be a lot stronger when it's burning. But yeah, I do get some of that uh, black tea, I mean the um, Earl Grey tea scent. Chamomile, yeah, um, it's just a little bit on the light side, that's all. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a little bit stronger. And then the other tea scent, which I did get in a wax melt previously, is their iced sweet tea. And this one definitely smells like um, iced tea. Tea leaves, ze lemon zest, honey, and sugar. Now, I really don't get a lot of sweetness with this one. This is very similar to Bath & Body Works London Tea and Lemon, which they haven't brought back. I got uh, two backups, but for some reason they're not bringing that one back. But this one is very uh, similar to that. It's not overly sweet. You definitely just get that tea scent. So, yes, I really do like that one. And then this is uh, bergamot and tea leaves. So this is fairly similar to the scent notes on the London Fog. This is lemon water, brewed tea leaves, and bergamot. So yeah, not a lot of difference with the scent notes. This one... It smells more like body care, a little bit more um, than like the London Fog one. It does have that kind of tea scent to it, but it has kind of a watery uh, body care kind of uh, feel to it. So anyway, uh, melting these will be the true test of uh, 
what they actually do smell like. I'm just going to have another sniff of this one. Sometimes I get a little bit nose blind. Yeah, it's just, it's just very light. Alrighty, and then, uh, yeah, I really wanted to get the candle of this particular scent. I do have the wax smell, but I just absolutely love the label. And it's been pouring rain for two days straight here, so this was would be the perfect one to melt. Uh, this is uh, Cool Rain Drops. And look at that label. Oh, the fence, the rain coming down. I love it. Ooh, that's so nice. And this one is Shimmering Rain Sparkling Bergamot. Bergamot seems to be quite a theme here. Uh, black pepper and sage. Now, when I first uh, read these notes, I thought it was going to smell like cologne because you get the, the bergamot and the sage and the pepper. But, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's, it's sort of smells like body care. Maybe leaning a little bit cloney, but it is bright. It's watery, aquatic. So yeah, I, I really do like it. It's just a nice, fresh... There might even be a little bit of greenery in there. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love that label. Alrighty, and then uh, this is Breathe, which is uh, lemongrass and sage. Oh, and this one must be from like an aromatherapy line. The bergamot and tea leaves is exhale. And then, oops, this one is breathe. So lemongrass and sage. I love both of those scents. I love the brightness of lemongrass. Yeah, that's all they have on the scent notes, lemongrass and sage. Yeah, this one is nice and bright. The sage isn't heavy or overly herbal. You just, you get that clean, fresh lemongrass scent. So yeah, I do like that one. And uh, this is from their new, uh, what do they call it now? Voyage Collection or Travel Collection. And that is Marrakesh uh, Mint. And that's the label. So right now I'm actually melting an eight ounce colonial candle called Marrakesh Mint. And it is so good. One of my favorite colonials. It's a very earthy, pick from the garden kind of uh, mint. It's not that really like peppermint. It's uh, just that fresh, natural mint. Um, so this one is Marrakesh Mint Bergamot. There's Bergamot again. Uh, jasmine and Musk. So yeah, this is definitely uh, not as good as the Colonial Candle one. Not as good as Garden Mint from Yankee. I guess there is a... Maybe I'm picking up the Jasmine. It's uh, There is a floral in there mixed with the mint. Yeah, again, it's not that bright peppermint. It's just that pick from the garden kind of mint. But there's definitely a floral note in here. And a little earthiness. It says must, too. So it's just that kind of um, earthy, kind of musky, floral, minty scent. So yes, we'll, we'll see. Um, again, we'll have to see how these uh, do with the burns. And then I did get a handful of wax melts. I just wanted some backups of the ones that I've been enjoying. So I did get uh, two of the iced sweet tea in the wax melts. Now I wish I'd grabbed two of these. I don't know why I didn't. Um, the homemade cherry pie. Oh, this is good. I smell more cherry than anything. I, I can get a little bit of the crust in the background. But yeah, I do love cherry scents. And uh, purchased this previously, green grass and apple. And I believe there is a pear note in here also along with the apple. 
Oh yeah, I get the apple, I get the pear, I get uh, that fresh greenery scent, like you're walking into a greenhouse and they've uh, been cutting all the stems. I really like that one. And uh, this is wild mint and birch. Again, this is a very earthy kind of mint. L much brighter than the other mint scent there, wherever it went. Yeah, this one is definitely a brighter type. Um, birch, I, I wouldn't say there's like a really a wood note in there. It might just tame down that uh, mint. And then there is wildflower ginger tea. Again, another tea scent. And uh, I really do like the brightness of uh, ginger scents. And yeah, you definitely get a floral note. You get that um, bright ginger note. Yeah, and it does smell kind of like tea-like, like a floral gingery tea. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so that is my Goose Creek haul. Um, yeah, I'm. I don't get overly excited about summer spring scents. Uh, I I enjoy them. Um, yeah, I just prefer my winter and fall scents. But uh, I saw all these tea scents and tea notes on these ones, and I just had to try them out. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have recently ordered from Goose Creek, let me know what your favorite ones are, and um, what the stronger ones are that you have tried, because, yeah, I love my strong scents. I want to be blowing right out of the room. So, anywho, I am going to go and uh, do some reading, and um, so I hope you enjoyed. So, everyone take care. I'll give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.